what's up guys okay I want to do a quick video on oil pulling for you since everybody's asking um, I want to tell you about my experience and some guidelines so we have a few rules okay rule number one we're gonna start with organic unrefined coconut oil because it's organic and because it tastes better than any of the other oils so if you're gonna do oil pulling rule number one it has to be organic alright coconut oil tastes good it can be something else but everybody seems to be using coconut oil Rule number two, you want to do this stuff in the morning when you first wake up on an empty stomach. So that's the best time of day. So I hear that you're supposed to be doing it. Rule number three, do not swallow the stuff. It's going to be a gentle swishing, nothing crazy. Make sure it gets through your teeth. Don't gargle it. You don't want it in the back of your throat. You want to just make it soothing. When I did it, I was kind of, you know, I was enjoying the swishing process and 10 minutes actually went by fairly quickly while I checked my Facebook messages, my emails, text messages, whatever. I did end up doing it for about 20 minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes they say is ideal. So that's going to be the next rule. No back of the throat, gentle swishing, nothing crazy, 15 to 20 minutes. And then last but not least, spit it in the garbage when you're done. So do not swallow this stuff. Do not, you know, gargle it in your throat. And then when you're done, spit it in the garbage, not a drain, not a toilet. The oil will actually clog that stuff. So now let's keep in mind that this oil is pulling out the toxins. We don't want to swallow it. So what happens when I did it? 10 minutes into it, my mucus in my nose and my throat started to gather. And I think out of like instinct, I kind of swallowed that. Um, it did go by quickly. I did not swish really hard. I swished fairly easily, gentle. Like I kind of enjoyed the process um, while I was catching up on messages and everything. But I think I ate something bad the night before, and after the swishing had happened, I may also be allergic to coconut, I don't know, but I got really hot in my upper body, I started sweating, breathing heavy, kind of like passed out on the floor, I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, um, that I would do this to myself, I didn't think that that was going to happen, nobody said that, so I'm just letting you know, it was either my allergy, or maybe this stuff really was pulling out toxins that were in me, that's a classic symptom of a detox, like I almost barfed. So if you're going to do it, do it when you know you have space that if you do get a little hot or sweat or throw up or something, um, you have time before you go to work or before you have to go about the rest of your day. I was exhausted for the rest of yesterday. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen to you. I'm just being dead honest with you guys and letting you know what happened to me and how I want you to do your research before you do anything. So I know what those symptoms are of detox. I know I was detoxing, something was coming out of my system. I just want to make sure you guys know that that can happen. I'm not trying to scare you into not doing it. Maybe, yeah, start out with, you know, 10, 15 minutes, but it's going to pull out toxins. So it's going to come into that oil. You're going to want to spit it into the garbage. Don't swallow any of it. If you start to feel your mucus gathering in your throat, try not to swallow that. Okay. I think I covered everything. Organic coconut oil, swishing for 15 to 20 minutes in the morning do not swallow spit it out in a garbage can not down a drain or a toilet and be rinse your mouth afterwards with water like really really don't even like get all of that out i even like scraped my tongue in my mouth afterwards because i felt like it was still there so there's toxins coming out in that oil you don't want those toxins back in you this is not to scare you this is to inform you and to show you that I love you okay so be good let me know how it all goes and be careful obviously guys research your stuff I don't do anything without researching it first was a little shocker yesterday but I've experienced those symptoms from a detox before so it, it wasn't too shocking it was actually educational for me uh, but I'm not going to be doing oil pulling until Dennis gets home. I don't want to oil pull by myself. Let's just put it that way. So love you. Let me know how it goes, okay? Bye.